Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Nature class! Let's check you're all here. Holly, Violet, Rosie and Strawberry. Good. Now hold hands. I don't want to lose any of you in the woods. Ugh, Nanny Plum, do we have to do nature class today? It's boring. Yes, all we do is learn the names of trees. And mushrooms. And frogs. Now, now, girls. Every young fairy needs to know the names of trees and mushrooms. And frogs. And frogs. Up ahead is a lovely example of a mugwort flower. <sighs> ben, Barnaby, Jake and Lizzie. Good. Today we are having nature class. Follow me. Excuse me, wise old elf. Why do we have to do nature class? Because, Ben, it's important that every young elf learns about nature. <sighs> Who can tell me what this is? Um, uh, uh, is it a sort of plant? A wilted thistle is the correct answer. Oh. Now, what's the name of this flower? Oh, we seem to have walked into some elves. Good day, Nanny Plum. Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're doing nature class. So are we. Let's team up. Yes! <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Quite so. Elf and fairy nature classes are very, very different. We're learning names of plants and things. So are we. Please, Nanny Plum. Can we have one big class? Please, Mr Wise Old Elf. Oh, very well. I suppose I can handle a few more children. What? Wise Old Elf, there's no need for you to hang around. But, but... You can collect your children when my lesson's over. No doubt there's some charming fairy name for this plant, but my class has identified it correctly as a welted thistle. Oh, isn't it Harry Bittercress? Oh, interesting. Or Harry Bogweed. You both know the silly plant names. So you should both take the class. Hmm, on one condition. No magic. I'm doing nature class today, not magic class. So it's agreed. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Look! Ah, an acorn. Now, what does an acorn grow into? Is the answer an oak tree? I was asking the children. Yes, yes, but an oak tree is the right answer. What the wise old elf is trying to say is that this little acorn will grow into a huge oak tree. Ooh! Cool! Can we see it grow now? Oh, oh, it will take years and years to grow into a tree. Oh. We could give it some magical help. Nanny Palum, we agreed. No magic. But look at the children's sad little faces. They'd so like to see the acorn grow into a tree. No. Please, Nanny Plum, make the acorn grow into a tree. Yes, yes please, Nanny Plum. I'd love to, but it's up to the wise old elf. Please, wise old elf. Oh, 
very well. I'll just do a little spell. Stand back, children. Just a small tree, please. Yes, yes. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Little acorn grow, grow, grow! Wow! Nanny Palum. Is that your idea of a small tree? Um, it is big, isn't it? But I can easily make it smaller. No, no, it's fine as it is. Let's move on. Next up, mushrooms. Ah, good. Mushrooms. Who can tell me what this is? A toadstool. Uh, yes, correct. Now... You should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very... What Mr Old Elf is trying to say is that you should never, ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very sick. Indeed. So, never, ever eat a toadstool. Yes, wise old elf. Of course, I expect the wise old elf would like to sit on it. What? Elves love sitting on toadstools. Madam... I think you will find it is gnomes that sit on toadstools. Elves, gnomes, whatever. You would never catch an elf sitting on a toadstool. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mr Elf. Hello, Holly. I see you've found my special reading place. Ah, it just catches the sun at this time of day. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, here we have a toadstool. With an elf on top. Um, yes, with an elf on top. He looks very happy. Uh, right, let's move on. Yes, we have time for one last thing. Goodbye, Mr Elf. Bye. What do you think the last thing is? I bet it's frogs. Nanny always shows us frogs. Yes, it'll be frogs. Who can guess what we're going to see next? <sighs> frogs. Yes, we're going to look at frogs. Um, uh, there aren't any frogs here. Not one frog. Well, that's disappointing. Can we go home now? It's no problem. I'll turn one of us into a frog. Can I have a volunteer, please? Come on. Who wants to be a frog? Goodness, what a lot of miseries. I'll just have to do it myself. Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum... We can't leave her as a frog. Can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari! Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it worked. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Africa fairy, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Yes! Nanny Plum. Fascinating, Mistress Plum. 
But if we might return to nature class for a... Yes, children. What Mr Old Elf is trying to say is that... That brings today's nature class to a close. close. That was the bestest ever nature class. Thank you, Strawberry. It was excellently cool. Thank you, Barnaby. So, from now on, Nanny Plum and the wise old elf always teach us nature class together. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, if you insist. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Toy Robot. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play. I'll be right down. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> Let's play in the meadow. <coughs> Gaston, fetch! Hi, everyone! Hello, Hello Barnaby. Barnaby! What are you doing? We're throwing sticks for Gaston. Gaston likes fetching sticks. <laughs> oh, that's not a stick. Hello, everyone! Hi, Hi Strawberry! <gasps> What's that? It looks like a tin arm. Gaston, where did you find this? Wow! What's that? It's a toy robot. Ooh! It's a bit broken. We can mend it with magic. Uh, no thanks, Strawberry. We'll fix it the elf way. Elves are very good at fixing things. And we're elves! <laughs> there! Finished! Ooh. So, will it talk? Will it make me a cup of tea? No, it's just a toy robot. It'll do this. Uh. That's a bit boring. It isn't boring. That's what toy robots do. Let's switch it on. It doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe it needs batteries. No, it's clockwork, but there's no key. Our magic key. Oh. Holly, I don't think we should use a magic key. Magic can be dangerous. I'm sure it will be OK. Whatever happens, it will be fun. Mm, all right. <coughs> Shush, Gaston. <coughs> OK, let's see what happens. It's working! Master, what is your name? Ooh. Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, I'm Ben Elf. Ben Elf, you are my master. We thought robots went... Err, err, err. Err, 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 err. Help! 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 Oh, oh no. no! Put us down, you silly robot. Put the girls down! I only answer to my master, Ben Elf. Robot, uh, put the fairies down, please. Yes, Ben Elf. A 
and say sorry. Sorry. That was a bit scary. Hmm, it's not like a normal toy robot. I think my key might have made it a bit magic. But it seems to do what I say. So we should be OK. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. What do you have there? We found a toy robot. It was broken, so we mended it. Well done. Ah, yes. This is the old Mark Z33 built by the Elf factory. Hmm, it was a rather basic model. Uh, please don't get it angry. I beg your pardon, Ben Elf. You talk as if it can understand. Well, it does seem to. It's just a toy robot, only capable of going... Ah, 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 ah. Ah! Put me down, you silly robot. You are a rude old elf. Ooh. Robot! Put the wise old elf down. Yes, bad elf. Oh, very strange. I, I don't remember the Z33 being able to talk. It's escaping! We'd better get it back. Da da dum, do da dee da. Da da la la, da dum dee da. Da 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 da. What a beautiful sound. Where's it gone? Ah! That sounds like Nanny Plum. Help! Help! <gasps> Robot, put Nanny Plum down. Yes, Ben Elf. Oof! Oh, thank you, Ben. What is this thing? It's just a toy robot. But it does anything Ben says. Really? Yes. Watch this. Robot, clean up the courtyard. Must clean up. Must clean up. Must clean up. It's very good, isn't it? I'd like one of those to do all my cleaning. You can Must borrow my robot up. if you want to. That's very up. kind of you, Ben. Must Maybe I'll borrow it just for this evening. Must OK, robot, I'm going home now. But I want you to stay here and tidy the castle. Yes, Ben Elf. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. My goodness. Must tidy What's up. this? It's Must Ben's robot. Nanny has borrowed it to tidy up the castle. It looks like it's doing a very good job. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Hmm. I think I prefer the traditional fairy way. Dinner time! Ah, oh, oh, dinner! dinner. Ah, I expect the robot has come to serve us our dinner. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Oh, Must tidy goodness up. me. I think we should tell this robot to stop. We can't. The robot only listens to Ben. So what can we do? Uh, Ben told the robot to tidy the whole castle. So maybe we should go to bed and let the robot finish. Good idea, Holly. The robot should have finished tidying by morning. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. What? Is it morning already? Ugh. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Ah. Uh, goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything. Yes, including us. It's a monster. How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now. Right-o. Ben. There's an emergency at the little castle. 
We have to go right away. right -oh. Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing! And what are we? We're elves! Master, master. Oh, it's wound down. Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah, magic! <laughs> what have you got there, Gaston? <laughs> it's the proper key. Well, well done, done, Gaston. <laughs> Uh, Ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. <laughs> ah, that's the toy robot I remember. Yeah, it's great. Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Dinner party! Nanny Plum, your pie mash and chips is delicious. What's for pudding? I hope it's not too heavy. Treacle sponge pudding with blancmange and custard. Hooray! Excellent. Nanny Plum is the best cook in the Little Kingdom. I say Nanny Plum is the best cook in the whole world. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Hello. Hello. Queen Marigold here. <gasps> King and Queen Marigold. Oh, no. They're so boring and snooty. We were just eating a lovely meal of spinach with sea foam when we thought how nice it would be if you joined us for dinner tomorrow. They've invited us for dinner tomorrow. Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll handle this. Sorry, we can't come for dinner. Oh, dear. What a shame. I know you hardly ever get to eat good food. What? I'll have you know we have the best cook in the whole world. You have the best cook in the whole world? Yes. Oh. Well, then we must come to you for dinner instead. See you tomorrow. Toodle pip. Oh. I've got some good news and some bad news. What's the Good news. We're not going to King and Queen Marigold's for dinner tomorrow. Hooray! What's the bad news? They're coming here. Oh, oh no. no! What are we going to do? King and Queen Marigold will want to eat something special. Luckily, we have the best cook in the whole world, Nanny Plum. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Your Majesty. What about baked potato stuffed with potato with chips and mash and a fried egg on top? No, Nanny. They will want special modern food. I can cook porridge. That's not modern food. What is modern food, Mummy? It is very delicate food in tiny portions. I can do tiny portions. <laughs> well done, Nanny. That is small. <laughs> Of course, it will get bigger when the magic wears off. When is the magic going to wear off, Nanny? Um, about now. 
Excuse me. <laughs> it's not just the size of the food, Nanny. Modern cooking is fussy. No problem. Nanny has until tomorrow evening to come up with something. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Good. That's that sorted. Nanny, what are you going to do? Uh, I don't know. Morning, Holly. Are you coming out to play? No, Ben. I need to help Nanny learn how to cook. But Nanny Plum's a very good cook. She is the best cook in the world, Ben. But she can't cook modern food. Why does she need to cook modern food? It's what King and Queen Marigold like, and they're coming to dinner tonight. What Nanny needs is a cookbook. Come on. Wait for me. Where are we going? The Great Elf Library. Ooh. Excuse me, wise old elf. Shush. This is a library. Sorry. We need a book of modern cooking for Nanny Plum. But Nanny Plum is an excellent cook. Yes, she's the best cook in the whole world. But she can't do modern cooking. Hmm. Let's see. The Elf Book of Pies, The World of Spaghetti and Mash, A Complete History of Egg Sandwiches. Is there anything modern? Uh, what exactly is modern cooking, Princess Holly? It is food that's very delicate and special, and not porridge. Oh. Wait a minute. This doesn't look like an elf book. That's because I'm not. Ah, a magical fairy book. What's that doing in my elf library? There are no words in the book. I am a magical cookery book. Where are all your recipes? Oh, if you tell me what you want to cook, I will tell you how to cook it. We want to cook a special modern meal, please. How modern? Uh, very modern. Certainly. You will need the following ingredients. Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! Shh! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. Oh. <coughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny! We've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very delicate dish. It's so good of you to have us at such short notice. No trouble at all. We can't wait to see what the best cook in the world cooks for dinner. Oh, sorry, that's my tummy. I'm just so looking forward to this lovely meal. <laughs> dinner is served. Enjoy your meal, Majesties. 
Mm. Oh, yes. Such a delicate flavour. So subtle. Nanny! Your Majesty? What's this called? Cloud of vegetable soup. It's just steam. Such a sensitive dish. Mm, how wonderful. I can barely taste it. Does it come with any potatoes? Uh, no. Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. No problem. These leftover potatoes, carrots, onions, peas and cheese have made a lovely soup. Ooh, yummy! Um, this steam is delicious, of course, but will there be anything else to follow? Yes, even though it's very filling, I could eat a tiny something more. I could eat a lot, lot more. <laughs> What's that lovely smell? It's coming from the kitchen. <laughs> this is delicious, Nanny. Mmm, it's the best. I say, what's this? It's just the children's supper. It smells very nice. It's only some soup I made from the leftovers. It's not very modern. You wouldn't like it. Could I try just a little bit? <laughs> the taste is so tasty. Can I try some too? And me. And me. Oh, yes. So filling. <laughs> Marvellous, Nanny. I have an announcement to make. Nanny Plum is indeed the best cook in the whole world. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. Now, what would everyone like for pudding? Something modern or my treacle pudding? Treacle pudding! <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Woodpecker. Oh, do you have to knit? I like knitting. It's my hobby. Why does it have to be so noisy? Someone's a bit grumpy. I'm not grumpy. I'm bored. Maybe you should have a hobby, like stamp collecting. What's stamp collecting? You collect stamps and put them in a book. Why would anyone want to do that? How about train spotting? You look at trains and write down their numbers in a book. No one would want to do that. Or there's bird spotting. Don't tell me. I look at birds and write them down in a book. Yes, something like that. I love birds. Please try it, Daddy. <sighs> OK. What do I do? You'll need binoculars, a bird spotter's bag and, of course, a book. Welcome to the world of bird spotting. Look for birds, then tick them off in this book. All right, I'll give it a go. Oh, a bird! What sort of bird is it, Daddy? Um, it's a robin! Yes, a robin! And I spotted it! This is rather fun. Oh, there's another bird. What does it look like? Um, it's got a long pointy beak. Oh, it's a woodpecker, a very special bird. Can I have a look, Daddy? Yes, Holly. Oh, the woodpecker's landed on the great elf tree. Orange juice, Ben? Yes, please, Mum. Ah! Quick, everyone out! 
It's an earthquake! It's an earthquake! It's an earthquake! It's not an earthquake. <laughs> it's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh. <gasps> it's smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. Phew, it's not in my flat. Ah, our door's stuck. Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, your majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when they hatch, there'll be Baby woodpecker chicks! And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic! When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now, before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be disturbed. That's the law. Is it? Uh, it is now. <laughs> By royal command. Oh, it's in writing. We'll have to obey it. Elves never break the law. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. Splendid. That's that sorted. Can I stay and look at the woodpecker with Ben? Yes, Holly. I've got more bird spotting to do. Da da do dum da di da 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 di dum da da di da. There, all nice and tidy. Oh, what's this? It's just bird seed, Nanny. I'm trying to attract some rare birds. Don't sweep it up. Are you sure, Your Majesty? We don't want to attract a mouse. Look, Holly, eggs. <gasps> They're hatching. Baby birds. Hello, I'm Ben and this is Holly. Oh, they're so sweet. Hmm, they'd be a lot sweeter if they weren't in our home. They're going. I think they're trying to fly. But they can't fly. I can teach them. Fairies are good at flying. And I'm a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, baby birds, just copy me. Flying is easy peasy. Oh, they're not copying me. Maybe we should start with something simpler. How did you learn to fly? I've been flying since I was a baby. I can't remember my first flying lesson. Hmm. Let's begin with flapping. Like this. <laughs> They're copying you, Ben. Now flap faster. Now jump. They're flying. Clever, Ben. You taught them to fly even though you can't fly yourself. Bye-bye, <laughs> birds. There they go. Goodbye, little ones. Oh, don't say you miss them now. No, I've just got something in my eye. Have the chicks hatched yet? I want to tick them off in my book. They've flown away, Daddy. I taught them how to fly. Oh, baby woodpecker chicks are a once-in-a-lifetime sight for a bird spotter. 
But you missed them. It's not fair. Now I'm not going to spot anything good. <coughs> Hello? King Thistle, we've got a strange nest in the castle. A nest? I'll be there straight away. Nanny, where's the nest? It's in the middle of my kitchen. It's a... Don't tell me, Nanny. I want to be the one to spot it. Wow, that's a big nest. It can't stay in my kitchen. Nanny Plum, my law says no nesting creature may be disturbed. But it's a... Shush, Nanny. This is my hobby, not yours. I'll name it. Whoa, it's got beady eyes. Beady eyes? Hmm, it could be the beady-eyed blackbird. Aha! That sounds rare. <gasps> it's got whiskers. Whiskers? Uh, it could be the whiskered thrush. And it's got a long, scaly tail. A scaly tail? This bird is so rare, I don't even know it. I've discovered a new bird. It shall be named the King Thistlebird. If you say so, Your Majesty. But I don't want that filthy, smelly rodent in my kitchen. Nanny Plum, that's no way to talk about the King Thistlebird. We must let it lay its eggs in peace. I don't think rats lay eggs. Rats? <laughs> ah, <laughs> a rat! <laughs> oh, you've got rats. Get rid of it! Yes, shoo, shoo. Get out of here, you filthy rat. <laughs> No, Your Majesty. The King Thistlebird must be allowed to stay. What? Your law says no nesting animal may be disturbed. Did I say that? Yes, Daddy. Well, um, maybe the law should say, um, uh... Let me see this law. You see, it's in writing. There's nothing we can do about it. As Queen... I declare this silly law abolished. <gasps> now, get this rat out of my castle. Um, Nanny Plum, you speak rat. Tell it to leave, please. Now, what's rat for please leave? Oh, yes. Ahem. Get out of my kitchen! <laughs> oh, Nanny, you've hurt a rat's feelings. I think I can live with that. <sighs> Why does knitting have to be so noisy? What? Daddy, it's brilliant! The baby woodpeckers are here! Now you can tick them off in your book! Ah, yes! Lovely! Honestly, darling, why do you have to have such a noisy hobby? Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Big Bad Barry. <laughs> I say, I'm getting a little hungry. Me too. I think I fancy fish and chips. We don't have any fish, Your Majesty. What? No fish? But I can magic up some fish fingers. Yum, yum. I like fish fingers. No, no. I want fresh fish. Fresh from the lake with chips. I know. Ben's dad has a fishing boat. Then we shall go and see Ben's dad. It's time we put the boat away for the winter, Ben. I'm pleased Bunty has made it through the summer with no accidents. What kind of accidents? The kind where the boat gets eaten. Eaten? Yes. Have I never told you the story of Big Bad Barry, the fish? No. It was a dark and stormy night. 
I was sailing in my favourite boat when suddenly... A fish! A fish, Mr Elf! What's that? I want a fish for dinner with chips. Oh! So we'd like you to take us out on the lake to catch one. I was just putting Bunty away for the winter. Who's Bunty? My boat. Well, one more trip won't do any harm, will it? I'd rather not. Um, she might get wet. Mr Elf, your king commands you. OK. Climb aboard. <laughs> You'll have to leave your wands here. Magic isn't allowed on elf boats. And, and where else? <laughs> Let's get going. I'll do the steering. Hang on a minute. You might be king on land, Your Majesty, but on this boat, I'm the captain, so I'm in charge. All right, captain, as long as I get a fish. Holly and Ben, wind the engine. Aye, aye, captain. King Thistle, take the wheel. Okie dokie, captain. Oh, -ho! this is fun. Turn ship to starboard. What? <sighs> Turn right. Why didn't you say so? At sea, we don't say left and right. We say port and starboard. Isn't that a bit silly? <laughs> <laughs> we'll fish from the stern. Where's that? <sighs> the back of the boat. Come with me. Fishing is a tricky business. You must have the right type of bait. What kind of bait are we using today? Stale bread. Stale bread? Who likes stale bread? Should we put some butter on it, Dad? And jam? Yes. We're not going to catch anything with stale bread, old boy. Stick a bit of jam on it. Stop! I'm the captain, so while we're aboard Bunty, we do what I say. Aye, 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 aye captain. captain! Now be quiet. Fish don't like noise. Very bossy, isn't he? This is so exciting! Shh, everybody. Now we wait. Are you sure this is right? Of course I'm sure. Come on, let me have a go. Fine, you'll see. It takes time to catch a fish! I've caught a fish! Holly, grab the net. Get ready to catch it. Well done, Daddy. Wow, it's big. It's a whopper, all right. And I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. It was many years ago when I first met... Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most gigantic-est fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. I tried several different baits before I found what Barry liked. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. I put a bit of cheese on the line and Barry was hooked straight away. The only thing was, he was stronger than my old boat Hilda was. Bad Barry dragged my poor boat Hilda all over the lake. And when he'd finished that, he ate her. He ate Hilda? It sounds horrid. It was. So you built Bunty to replace Hilda? No. First, there was Doris. Then Peggy. There was Abigail, Fifi and Trixabel. Not forgetting Sabrina, Vicky and Miss Boo Boo. Barry ate them all. <gasps> I tried to catch Barry so many times, but he was always too strong. So that's where all the cheese went. In the end, I gave up. Big Bad Barry is still out there, somewhere. Ooh. Incredible! I have come to a royal decision. 
We must catch Big Bad Barry and have him with chips. Hooray! No, we mustn't. I don't want to lose another boat. Not Bunty. Anyway, there's no cheese on the boat. I won't allow it. Barry can smell cheese a mile away. Even a mild cheddar. Good. I've got some cheese in my picnic hamper. We can use that. Ah! Cheese on board! Quick, get rid of it before it's too late. What did you do that for? I told you. It's dangerous to have cheese on board. Luckily, I also brought a nice Stilton cheese we can tempt Barry with. No, I refuse to help. Then we'll do it without you. I'm taking charge. Hooray! Ah! It's mutiny! Mutiny on the bounty! We'll catch this Barry and have him with chips. Ben, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Holly, hold the net. Aye, aye. Here, Barry, Barry. Barry! Come on, Barry. Where are you? It's not working. Here, Barry. Come on, boy. Oh, if we're going to catch Big Bad Barry, let's do it properly. Yes! You must do what I say as soon as I say it. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain! Big Bad Barry is too big for that rod. We'll use this rod. Wow! You wanted to meet Big Bad Barry? Here's your chance. Excellent! Now we wait, but not for long. <laughs> Eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese. Start the engine. Full sail. We're not going anywhere. Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. I'm on. We've got him. We've got him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big. He's too bad. We have to let him go. Never. Aha! He's given up. I don't think so. He's eating the lime. Ah, uh, then he can have it. I give it. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> ah! He's eating Bounty! <laughs> Launch the lifeboat! <laughs> Abandon ship! Women, children and kings first! Oh, Bounty! Hello, everyone. The chips are ready. Where's the fish? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Big Bad Barry is eating Bunty. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, dear. Do you think Barry would like some chips with that? I think he's full. Alas, poor Bunty. I knew her well. Right. What should we have for dinner, then? I think I'd like fish fingers. With, with chips! <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. King Thistle's birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Daddy! Hmm. What is it, darling? I don't want a birthday. You don't want a birthday? No. Why on earth not? I don't like my birthday. 
Every year we make a big song and dance about the fact that I'm getting older. But we always celebrate your birthday. The elves hold a big party with music, dancing and fireworks. It's so much fun. Yes. Well, today is going to be different. No birthday party. Da 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 da! Happy birthday, Your Majesty. Here's your cake. Shush, Nanny Plum. Sorry there aren't enough candles. There should be one for every year, but we need... Stop going on about how old I am. But, darling, you're only... And no cake. Take it away. No cake? I've baked loads of cakes for the party. I don't care. No cakes and no birthday. Oh, I suppose I'll just have to eat all the cakes myself. Why doesn't Daddy want a birthday? He doesn't like getting older. Who does? I do. Oh, well. I'd better cancel the fireworks. I can't wait for the King's birthday party. Me too. We've got a really big firework to let off. Yes. It's as big as a carrot. Ho, ho, ho. And there'll be music, dancing and cakes. Everyone loves King Thistle's birthday party. Firework delivery for King Thistle's birthday party. Oh, Ben, there's not going to be a party. No, no party? King Thistle has decided he doesn't like getting older. Who does? I do. So... There won't be any fireworks now. Or music. Or dancing. <sighs> We'd better take this delivery back to the elf tree. Can I stay here with Holly? OK. Bye, Dad. See you later. If we could cheer King Thistle up, then maybe he'd want a party. Good idea, Ben. I could do a magic spell to cheer the king up. Really? Will that work? Of course. But how do you cheer people up with magic? I'll show you. Abracadabra, abracadab, make Queen Thistle all cheered up. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Look how happy the Queen is. <laughs> That? You were very happy. Yes, a little too happy. Maybe we won't use magic to cheer the king up. Perhaps we could cheer King Thistle up another way. How? My dad always likes talking about when he was a boy. Does he? So, if we ask your dad about when he was young, that might cheer him up. Good idea, Ben. <sighs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Dad? Hmm? What was it like when you were a boy? Why would you want to know that? We're interested. Yes. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. You must remember something. Well, <laughs> yes, when I was a boy... Were there dinosaurs? Dinosaurs? Yes, dinosaurs with big pointy teeth. No! How old do you think I am? What was it like before the telephone was invented? Did you live in a cave, Daddy? No, I didn't. And that's quite enough questions about when I was young, thank you. But we're interested. Well, I'm not. Now, please leave me alone. Huh. All right. Daddy seems more sad than ever. Yes. Now we'll never have a party. What about if we ask the wise old elf for advice? Yes, he's very wise. And he's old. He'll know what to do. Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Hello wise, wise old, old elf. elf. Have you heard? King Thistle's not having a birthday party. Ah, yes. After all our hard work arranging everything. And the elf band had composed a special song, too. Listen. Oompa, oompa, old King Thistle is a very old king. And he's one year older today. Old King Thistle, he's old and grey. 
happy, happy, happy birthday! That's very nice, but Daddy doesn't want to have his birthday because he thinks he's too old. King Thistle's not old. I've got T-shirts older than him. Really? I'm sure the King just needs cheering up. We've tried that. It didn't work. So I suppose there won't be a party after all. No music. No dancing. No fireworks. Hmm. The king likes surprises, doesn't he? Yes. We can give the king a surprise party. But he doesn't want a birthday party. Ah, but it won't be a birthday party. There'll be music and dancing and fireworks and no one will say the word birthday. Gosh, that's very clever. It's brilliant. Come on, Ben. We need to get ready for the party. <laughs> Calling all elves. We need to arrange the king's party. Right, right on. Hello, Daddy. I've got something for you. What's this? Open it and see. I said no birthday cards. It's not a birthday card. This is just a card to say what a lovely daddy you are. Oh, thank you, Ollie. And here's a present. It's not a birthday present, is it? No, King Thistle. Are you sure? Sure. A toy robot. Thank you, Ben. I made it myself. And here's your cake. It's not a Birthday cake, is it? Absolutely not. This is just an ordinary cake. The taste is completely different. Oh, good. <laughs> Delicious. Hmm. <laughs> Cards, presents, cake. And this is nothing to do with my birthday? No. no. Well, I suppose it's not really a birthday then. As long as the elf band doesn't turn up. Surprise, Daddy. Oh, I love surprises. You have to close your eyes. OK. You can open your eyes now. Surprise! I said no birthday party. It's not a birthday party, darling. It's just a surprise party. Oh, well then, I suppose... Happy birth... <gasps> I mean congratulations, Your Majesty, on being such an excellent king. Well done. Oh, thank you. And now for the giant firework. It's as big as a carrot. <laughs> ah! Aha! I love fireworks. And now, Your Majesty, the elf band will sing a special song in your honour. Oompa, oompa, old King Thistle is a very old king and he's one year older today. Old King Thistle, he's old and grey. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Uh, of course, the song isn't actually about you. It's about a different king, Your Majesty. A king far away from here. Whose birthday it is today. In that case, it was a very nice song. Hooray! Oh, thank you, Holly. 